reach the island. Hi! I'm back! Okay, I want to make some... Well, I want to show you, you guys seem curious about the, the mica cabs that I make with the resin. This is the green, let me take it out. This green with the gold glitters and this green, like I said, I bought all green because I don't know, I didn't follow my own rule of buying primaries when you're trying something new buy primaries then secondaries if you have money left no I bought almost all green this is a different green with a copper glitter this one really came out nice um this is the copper which is amazing this is a copper mica with glitter already in it. I didn't add anything. Just totally glittery. Very nice. And I bought this stuff at TKB Trading. It comes in packets like this. I didn't make any cabs this, this bluish color. So I'm going to use this for the demonstration. They'll be ready to pop out tomorrow. And you can see that big reveal. Um, I also got, I got lots of green. I won't bore you with all the green. Um, but I also got these interesting... I've been wanting to try this for a long, long time. And I tried researching. This was the only place I could find. TKP was the only place I could find that had anything cost-effective and that it would work for either a polymer clay application or a resin application and that's a color shifting pigment. Um, you can't really tell from the bag. I messed with this a little bit. I put, I got several colors and I put it on my hand and you know just to see what it would do. Um, I'm really not sure if this will work. These were very expensive, even though it was still cheaper than anywhere else. It was, it was still expensive. You only get a teaspoon for, I don't remember, a couple bucks or something. Um, but I'm going to put it in, I haven't tried it in resin yet, so I'm going to try it in resin with a little glitter, see what I get, if it'll work in clear. I don't know. It may only work on black. I don't know. <laughs> I have to experiment and that's just the way it is so like I said I got a lot of them and it's you know it's just fun this was a lot of fun look, look I mean it was just a blast I got metallics and I got lots of green like I said and I got copper you think I was missing fall <laughs> actually I kind of am it's warmer in the fall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two different colors. So I, I'm making two sets, resin part in one, hardener in the other. Keep them separate so I don't get them mixed up. This is going to be for my hardener. This is for my resin. Uh, I'm using uh, EasyCast Light now. What's it called? Envirotex Light. It's made by EasyCast. Comes in a much bigger bottle. Got it on sale. And um, it, it's just more economical. Works just the same. Beautiful stuff. Make sure you warm up your bottles. That way it'll keep the bubbles down. So you don't have a bunch of bubbles in your, um, in your um, finished pieces. <clears throat> I'm just going to make my favorite round, round cabs. Is that enough? Eh, a little more. 
what I would do is I would number if I was doing more than two, actually even two, because even I can get mixed up with two things. I would take a magic marker, number my cups. This would be one and two. This would be one and two or three and four or A and B. See what I mean? A1, A2, B1, B2. So I wouldn't get them mixed up. Alright, remember hardener. <laughs> so far I haven't screwed any up. It's a miracle. Even. Same measurement. It looks good. Pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to uh, add my powders. This pretty blue. Get a tablespoon of product. It's very generous. Um, or I, I don't remember what it was. Like a dollar fifty or something. Very generous though. And I just took a stick like this. Nothing precise. They have little tiny measuring spoons, and I think I'm going to invest in some of those. Measure some out. Drop it in this one. That's not enough. That looks good. Close it back up. Mix it up. Oh, there's a lot of gold in this. Mmm. It's like a blue, blue gold. This is called Ocean Green Mica. Wow. Isn't that pretty? And I also got their micro glitters. This is cosmetic grade glitter. This is a sampler. So they, they have more colors in this. I just got the sampler because... <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> and um, I'm going to try, what should I put in here? Hmm. Let's try this mauve one. Mm. Nah. Yeah. This glitter is called Holographic, I think. Beautiful silvery glitter. It's very tiny. Perfect. You don't need much. A little bit of this goes a long way. Mix that in there. And I'm not going to add my hardener until I get my other one mixed up. Okay, and this one I was going to try the... When I did this on my hand, when I used this color shifting, it's called Travel to Pluto. When I tried it on my hand, it went from white to pink. Um, I'm crossing my fingers. I really am. <laughs> Please work. Please do the effect I'm hoping you will do. You really don't need much. Can you kind of see the... I don't know if you can see it or not. It just moves. The color moves. It's kind of cool. And in this one I'm going to add pink, pink glitter into this. Oh, I think I added a little too much. Definitely invest in the... Um, little measuring spoons. I think they'd be worth it. And if you can remember, 
because I haven't been doing this. I'm a mad scientist, just throwing stuff together. <laughs> Write down your mixtures. I will say this again. Write down your <laughs> mixtures because you're, you're going to come up with some gorgeous things. And if you don't write it down, you're not going to remember what you did, and you can't repeat them. I've already done that three or four times. I'm so mad at myself. That's pretty. It's like a real pearly, very pretty. And this one, I wanted to add the mauve glitter, because I haven't tried that one yet. It's a very pretty pink, pink glitter. You can put this stuff on your face. Super fine. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Alright. I'm going to add my hardener to the color shift and pink. You have to be a mixin' fool, remember. Scrape, mix, scrape. This is going to be very pretty. I can already tell. I don't know if I have enough light in here for you to for it to s capture on the camera. I'm not going to do a double double uh, cup. Turns out I don't really need to do that for these very small applications. Really small. I don't need to pour it into another cup. Only when you're doing things like like maybe two or three times this amount. bought three more of these because I love them so much. Ew. in the other room. Be right back. Okay, next. Now if you wanted to, you can mix these things together, mix these colors together and come up with your own combinations, your own 
custom shades, which I think is the coolest thing ever. Um, <clears throat> I bet if you get good enough at this, you could even um, mix these to a color wheel and um, do PMS color matching. I'm thinking that's totally possible. You, you would not believe the amount of gold. You, it looked blue in the package, but it there is a lot of gold in this. Just beautiful. Really nice. I gotta hand it to you guys at TKB. I have to hand it to you. This is great. <laughs> I sent him a note with my order. I said, oh, this stuff is so beautiful. I can't wait to use it in my artwork. That is if I can keep it off my face. <laughs> I sent a note back and said, send us pictures. We want to see what you do, which I haven't done yet. Maybe I'll send him a link to this video. Okay. Ah, ah timber. All right. Let's pour. And 24 hours later, tomorrow when I get home from work, I'll turn this camera back on, pop these out, And you can see what I've got. I have really got to invest in more molds, so those uh, putty molds, no good. Someone suggested <laughs> putting, uh, what is it, armor, armor all in them? Mm-mm. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Or I could buy some special molding compound, which I don't want to do. I like these plastic ones. I imagine I'll do that at some point, though. Okay. Big reveal tomorrow. See you then! Da 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 da! Twenty four hours later, I could hardly wait. Hardly wait. Let's start with this one. Leave the best for last. See how they pop right out if you wait long enough? That was my problem before. I wasn't gonna wait long enough. Um a lot of gold. A lot of gold. But they're pretty. I like the holographic in it. Um, yeah, they're okay. I might mix that color with something else in the future. Also, I have to, you know, finish um, finish them off with some finishing uh, varnish. Yeah, not crazy about it, but that is the principle. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Oh my God, every way I turn this, I'm getting pink. You look at it straight on, you get a cream, creamy color. Look at it from the side or an angle, you get pink. Looks like mother of pearl, some kind of shell. 
I'm wondering how I can do faux faux applications with this and I know there's got to be a way because I will continue to fool around with this beautiful really nice yeah I like that I like that a lot real pretty really really pretty Hey, New England, how you liking all that snow? <laughs> how's that? How's that global warming working out for you? <laughs> yeah. Even our warm areas are getting blizzards. Okay. So I just put a little bit of varnish on there. This is a good brush. My other brushes were shedding. And I paint them all and let them dry. There is a spray that I haven't bought yet. A resin spray that you can do instead of this. But I have this, so I'm going to use this. And it works great. Just polyurethane, which is plastic, so I'm going to do that to all of these and let them dry. All right, while I'm waiting for those cabs to dry, I thought I'd show you, uh, I haven't made any cabs with this yet. I just mixed it with the translucent polymer. Didn't add any glitter. I just wanted to see what the color would be like when I mix the mica into the polymer. This one is the same as those cabs I just made that I wasn't real happy with. Ah, uh, I don't know what it'll do in polymer. I'll make a cab or two and see what happens. The color, it, you can still see all that gold in there. I like the streaky effect. I just made little balls with half, half of a bar. This one is called Leaden's Lamp. It is a dark tan, very sparkly, and when I mixed it with a polymer, I got a really nice chocolate brown. Um, not real metallic, a little glitter, very pretty. That would be nice. I haven't I haven't used all of them yet. Mix them all. This one I really like. This is called Breath of Spring. This color. And it is a beautiful. Um, really pretty green. It's a lot of metallic, a lot of sheen. Very, very nice. I really like this one a lot. Breath of Spring. Uh. <clears throat> and this one was a lot of fun. Green Apple. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's very yellow. It's a lot, you know, a real yellow green. And it was, it's a lot of fun. I like the color. I think it's a real smart ass color. I like it. Um, I like it. It's good. This one, this was interesting. This, <clears throat> I bought one of these to try called Sparkle Turquoise. It, the color, it's sort of like the Mica Shift ones, a little bit, but different. It's, it, it's, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I really like it. 
I mixed it in with the translucent and I get you can see the turquoise in there in the light the sheen of the turquoise it's really cool it's really nice this would make a really 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 nice cab I like it this looks great when you mix it with other colors I've mixed it with this fabulous fabulous um, but when I get more blue I'll mix it with that too this is awesome. It comes in several different shades, I believe. I just bought the Sparkle Turquoise, and I love it! So, I'll make some cabs with these and see what I get, see how they come out. I think they'll be nice. I do. Another thing I'm going to try is mixing these with, either with a varnish or with some white paint, maybe even black paint. Um, I think that would be real cool. So, that's that. Really neat, inexpensive. Yes, you can use your eyeshadows if they're loose, if they're not loose, if they're uh, caked in a caked pan and a little tin. Break them up, mash it up, get it back to a powdery state as best you can. You don't want little hunks and chunks of your shadow and your powder, you know, your, your product in your cab, so, or in your thing, whatever it is you're making. And that's it. I'll see you later. Have a great week. Stay warm. <laughs> Stay happy. Stay inspired. <laughs>